Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. I know there's been a big furore in the IT community if you've been tracking things over the past few days with Cisco's big announcement. And it actually got me thinking about advice I've been given out since I started teaching IT around 2002. Uh, I left the police, worked on a help desk, and then I started working for Cisco Systems. And then I started my own IT consulting company, and then I started training. And uh, I'll go through it in a minute, but uh, I also, something that just made me think was a new book that was recommended in my uh, Facebook stream by somebody else, a book called Range by a guy called David Epstein, which uh, I, I haven't read yet, but it, it just gave me the idea. So I'm just going to go through um, a couple of things really, just to get you thinking. If you haven't heard of me, uh, these are some of my books. There's around 15 to 20 on Amazon mostly IT, but some marketing and other uh, couple of autobiographies. But uh, Cisco, 101 Labs and The Simplified Range, if you want to check them out. So, uh, yeah, I used to work at Cisco and I've written all these books, etc. If you've got time, uh, check out my website, howtonetwork.com. covers about 25 IT certification and career courses. 101labs.net is practical training. And in 60days.com is 60 days to CCNA. Anyway, oh yeah, and if you want to hear more, please uh, hit subscribe and smack the bell. So then you'll hear about the new videos when they come out. So my advice going back into uh, the, the Wayback Machine. I'd always say get a foundation, which is learn TCP IP back then. And then specialize as soon as possible. So good foundation and then build your a career like a pyramid or a triangle uh, this was where the money was and this is you can see this mapped in Cisco certifications they had all of these specializations and companies would be looking to hire a security expert a data center expert now this can still happen obviously but I'm, I'm just seeing changes and I'm sure you've noticed too changes in uh, hiring requirements and practices so this is how it actually went. You, the, the more you specialise with your certifications, the higher your salary went, which uh, made sense. Now things are changing and uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up and ask you to take a step back and think about where you're going with your career and your certifications. I can't tell you what to do. I can just give you some advice and then you obviously make your own choices. So uh, 2019, you still need to build a foundation. So you still need your TCP IP understanding because this is how all of our networks work. Uh, and then I'm suggesting you keep a big fat base on your um, knowledge. So things like uh, Microsoft MTA, which you only need a few hours to pass these exams and all your resources are free because you can download free trials. CompTIA now are kind of like the gold standard of getting your foundations because they're vendor neutral and you have to be CompTIA certified for any um, Department of Defense jobs or contracts. So uh, Cloud Essentials, Security, a whole bunch of others. And now other vendors have, have clued into this. If you wanted to learn Linux, you had to actually have about 18 months experience with Linux. Now they're offering a foundations and Linux Linux essentials which you can just with a few hours over a few days learn a few commands learn how Linux works and then take the exam and I'm actually preparing a course on this now which is why I mention it and uh, even coding which is now been included in Cisco exams there's an entry-level qualification put for uh, Python which I'm looking into also for the 101 labs course so my proof, uh, I should have actually had these coming in, but um, at the moment, the the CCNA, for example, loads of routing, and as you, I'm sure you know, um, BG, um, sorry, BGP, OSPF version two, version three, loads, EIGRP, RIP, static. There's loads to learn, and obviously. All of these have got their corresponding IPv6 versions and also you've got to learn how to get them working together. So IPv6 with IPv4, so you tunnel in. That is only part of the syllabus, maybe around half. Then there's loads of switching, uh, which is your VLANs, uh, your STP and using your switches for load balancing. 
loads and loads of stuff and then into security so uh, your port security device security your radius tac hacks it just got to the point i think where the ccna was worth what the ccmp used to be worth it was just crazy and it could take the average person if you're if you're uh, busy six months there's obviously i've got a fast track program for that so this is all changing and what's happened is the ccna has become more of a foundation uh, exam again so instead of being really good at a load of things they've got it down down by this level so you need to know some routing and i think it's only ospf v2 if you want to learn more you have to then go to the ccmp track which is fine even then the current ccmp foundations is probably only covering what the ccna at the moment does some switching some security some wireless some devops do you notice it's all the same here you have to have a general understanding and appreciation and then some of these things you'll actually have to do um your configs but but not i've noticed the word configuration uh, has dropped a lot from the syllabus and it's only scattered in there in a few places so this is why i can see the change that i mentioned so your implementing and administering cisco solutions your ccna has now gone from 10 different specializations or oh, devops data center cloud security wireless etc all gone and now there is just this one ccna as from the end of february 2020 implementing and administering cisco solutions that the ccna isn't even short for that anymore so the acronym's wrong the ccmp has gone from eight to five specializations one of them's routing there's two design there's a couple of devops and a couple of wireless so you can um be a special specialized in two different wireless areas and two design areas routing has really taken a, a, a quite a lower down on the priority so uh, my suggestion this is my advice again take my advice uh, tweak it and change it or just disregard it because this is just um, general advice obviously your situations are all going to be unique must still learn TCP IP the entire internet is built on TCP IP IP version 4 and 6 and all of the um, services and protocols within that so your NAT network time protocol etc etc so you must know that best place I personally recommend is Network Plus for the CompTIA brilliant exam to give you confidence and it covers almost all of the other things I'm going to mention as well it, it, touch, it touches on them so um, Network and DevOps look at the new CCNA uh, you don't if you pass obviously the current CCNA or CCDA that'll um, you get automatically upgraded which means in your own free time without any pressure you can learn some of the new stuff in the syllabus server stuff you can learn in just a, a maybe a day or two the Microsoft MTA server no prerequisites which is just a beginners level the cloud exam CompTIA cloud essentials obviously Google have got their cloud exam and I think they've got a foundations and I know Amazon have but uh, CompTIA I think is a good place to start security do the CompTIA security plus and or the Microsoft MTA security the MTA security is around 80% of this and they've all got the same it's all got the same syllabus I think they've maybe shared it or something so if you want to pass that for to get this come to your security plus you only need to learn about 20 percent more stuff so it's a no-brainer you need to know a bit about project management i say this in other videos you can't just be the techie sitting in the basement anymore you're going to be taking on responsibilities and working with other teams and uh, you get paid more money obviously because you've got more responsibilities look at come to your project plus and itel coding you don't need to be a, a coder if, if you don't want to but you still do need to understand a bit about it and I mentioned the uh, Python foundations uh, exam which I'm going to be looking into shortly as I said and then even Linux here the Linux professional Institute it just used to start here and you had to be like a pretty good at Linux uh, LPIC1 LPIC2 or go into DevOps and then become the guru down here no more you can do you can start with this basic which is presumes no knowledge and it just covers you through some of the uh, Linux commands 
the uh, the features and the, how the operating system works. And it's a vendor, it's a vendor neutral, so you don't have to be a specialist in Red Hat, for example. All right. So I mentioned this book. Uh, please check it out. It's on. Um, Amazon and I'll put a link in the description box at the bottom have a look but it's basically why generalist triumph in a specialized world and uh, I'll give you you can learn loads of examples for example Richard Branson who owns a virgin group he owns trains and, and planes and a whole other bunch of businesses but he can't fly a plane he can't um, drive a train and whatever he's got a credit card and a bank and all this kind of thing he understands generally how these things work and and same for bill gates same as uh, jeff bezos uh, jeff bezos has a uh, he think he's got a book out actually but i doubt very much if he wrote it himself he got somebody to write it uh, for him so have a look into this and consider this for your career uh, so just coming to the end now all i think Nearly all of the courses I mentioned, even including uh, Learn Python, uh, we teach you Python by showing you how to build a game for complete beginners, Linux, security, everything. Please come and check out howtonetwork.com. Click on the courses link and there's all the details there. If you're feeling uh, enthusiastic, you can get 30 days access. You must use this special URL, uh, howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube. For $1, you get access to the website, Live Cisco Racks, Exams, Forum, etc. So there's all of that stuff there. So uh, I think, is this the last slide? Yeah, that's the last slide. So thanks for listening to me. Remember, click on the subscribe bell if you want to hear more. And I'll see you on the next video.